Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel and in this video we will be solving some numericals based on addressing modes and instruction format. So let's start. So the first numerical is actually based on instruction format, right? So let's see how it is. So a machine has 32 bit architecture with one word long instruction, right? 32 bit architecture meaning is the instruction length word length is 32 bit and my instruction length is also 32 bit right it has 60 registers right it has got 60 registers each of which is 32 bits long register can hold 32 bits of data it needs to support 45 instructions meaning is it can perform various 45 instructions means operations which have an immediate mode operand in addition to to register operand. That means in each instruction along with of code, one immediate mode and two registers will be there. This part is clear. Now what the question is, assuming that the immediate operand is an unsigned integer, that means it is a positive quantity always. What is the maximum value of the immediate operand? So whatever they are asking, uh, they are telling will uh, draw a diagram for that. So see, this is my instruction whose length is what? 32 bit, right? And my instruction consists of four parts, operation part, then immediate operand and the two registers. This they are telling, right? 32 bit instruction. Now we need to allocate uh, bits for each of the field. So see, for opcode means how many, uh, opcode means operation code. That depends on what? How many operations you can perform. So it is said that 45 instructions you have. That, that means 45 different different operations we can perform. So to uh, represent 45 combinations in binary, how many bits do we require, right? 45 is not exactly in powers of two, that much we know, but we need to choose such an exponent so that it can include 45 combinations. As we know, two to the power three is what? Eight. Then 2 to the power 4 is 16. 2 to the power 5 is 32. None of them are accommodating my 45. Then 2 to the power 6 is what? 64. So see, 2 to the you know, 5 bits will not help me. Why? Because it can represent only 32 combinations. I have to go for 6 bits where we will use 45 combinations and remaining all will remain unused. But we have to use 6 bits only, right? Because 5 bit cannot represent 45 combinations. So for opcode, we'll be requiring how many bits? 6. So see, 45 instruction. So opcode will be 6 bits. Why it is? Because 2 to the power 6 is 64. And see, please understand, we cannot take 2 to the power 7. 7 we cannot take. Why? Because in case of 2 to the power 7, the value is what? 128. But out of that, only 45 combinations will be used. So there will be lot many your unused combinations will be there. So that will be a kind of wastage. So we need to use the one that is nearest to my number of combinations. So it will be six, right? The next one is, next is register. How many registers do you have? 60. So to represent 60 names of registers, how many bits do we require in binary? 60. 2 to the power 6 is 64. 32 cannot help us, means 5 bits cannot help us. So for registers also, it will be 6 bit, 6 bit. See, for registers also, 6 bit, 6 bit. Opcode is also 6 bit. What is the total length given? 32. So how many bits are there for immediate operand? Total minus whatever we know the values. So that is 32 minus 18. That will be 14 bits. What does it mean? Immediate operand is represented using 14 bits. That is fine, but they are not asking us the length of immediate operand. They are asking us the maximum value of your immediate operand and which is a unsigned integer. So if it is unsigned, all 14 bits will be used for representing the magnitude. So what is the maximum value? 2 to the power 14 minus 1. Why this minus 1 is there? Because in our binary numbering starts from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on it will go, right? up to this many, this, 
this is this will be the last combination right so your answer will be magnitude of maximum value will be 2 to the power 14 minus 1 which happens to be this number you can easily find out 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 10 this is 1024 already we know and this one is 16 you do this multiplication answer is 16384 but minus 1 is there so it is 16383 all bits will be used to represent a value as no sign bit is required and numbering starts from 0 so maximum value will be max minus 1 max is uh, 16384 minus 1 so this is the value possible hope this one is understood this was a very simple numerical right and we have seen it also how to solve it hope this one is clear now we will be moving up to our next numerical of this type only so a general purpose register organization computer has 16 bit instruction right we have got 16 bit instruction right consisting of of code one part is holding of code source register right source register and your destination register right destination register dst register otherwise it will look like doctor it supports seven number of arithmetic operations and six number of logical operations then they are asking us what is the maximum number of registers present in the system so first find out what is the number of bits for each of them right and we know the total length is 16 how many different operations we can perform seven number of arithmetic operations and six number of logical operation so total is how many 13 operations we can perform so to represent 13 combinations in to represent 13 combinations in binary how many bits do we require we require 4 bits because 2 to the power 4 is what 16 which is greater than 13 it is not exactly in powers of 2 so 3 combinations will remain unused so it is 13 operations we can represent here sorry using 4 bits we can represent the opcode so this is 4 and total is 16 so for these registers how much left 16 minus 4 so how many bits will be there it will be 12 bits so 12 bits is for both the fields and both are registered so they will require equal number of bits so we'll do division by 2 so each register is represented using 6 bit and 6 bit so in 6 bit how many register combinations we can represent it is 64 right so see here this is given 13 operations so 2 to the power 4 is what number of bits required for opcode is 4 why because 16 is greater than 13 and if i take the lower one it is less than 13 so it is not possible this is not taken so this 4 is taken to represent the opcode right 4 bits then total is 16 minus 4 12 bits are coming here then we'll divide it by 2 because both are registers so 6 bits each register so maximum number of registers will be 2 to the power 6 that is 64 right so number of registers will be 64 and there see total number of registers is 64 and if i start numbering them then the first register name is 0 and the last register name is 63 right total is how many 64 hope this one is also clear this is very simple right next one is next we'll see the next video uh, next question see consider a processor with 64 registers that supports uh, 12 instructions that means i can perform various 12 operations see all are some given situations we cannot um, make them uh, analogy with your real processors these are some given situations where i can do only 12 operations and 64 registers are there exactly powers of two each instruction has five distinct fields what are those of code two source register one destination register and a 12 bit immediate value everything is given everything is given right now see they're asked what they're asking us each instruction must be stored in memory in a byte aligned fashion what is that i need to explain if a program has 100 instructions then what is the amount of memory consumed by the program so first let find out the total length of my instruction because here we know what are the fields and the length of each field that is known to us 
so we'll find out what is the total length of our instruction so let's see in a instruction how many fields five fields are given they have said of code immediate operand source register source register to destination register so see 64 registers are there right so each of them will take how many bits 66 right immediate operand they have given 12 bit and uh, what they have said 12 instruction so 12 combinations we represent binary how many bits required to represent 12 combinations we require 4 bits so total is 4 plus 12 is what 4 plus 12 is 16 plus 18 is coming as 34 right 34 34 bits right and see how the uh, instruction is stored in byte aligned fashion meaning is in case of your memory things are byte aligned that means see one memory location will hold one byte right next one can hold one byte so like this we are going to store so see in case of 34 how many bytes are there how many bytes are present in 34 bits 32 will be taking how many bytes four bytes for 32 bits will be having four bytes eight bit here eight bit here eight bit here then it is what 32 bits but it is 34 so two more bits have been left out right but we need to store them in byte aligned fashion only that means these two i cannot accommodate here i need to store it in the next byte only so that two bits will be stored here only where the capacity is to store eight bits but i have got only two bits value so i'll be storing these two bits here and remaining six bit field will remain unused that means that only two bits will occupy the position in the memory and six bits will uh, their bit positions will remain vacant right so as a whole how many bytes you have given to your instruction one two three four five right the though the last byte is not completely utilized but we have to give it a byte because the instruction is byte aligned across byte we need to complete the instruction right so it is taking your how many bytes five bytes so one instruction is taking how many bytes five bytes and in your program how many instructions are there in your program 100 instructions are there so total how much memory it will require 100 into size of each instruction what is that five bytes so total how much memory 500 bytes see here everything is written to find the number of of course 12 operations so four bits will take then next is uh, number of bits for registers, six bits for each register as total 64 registers are there as given in the question. Next is number of bits required for immediate operand is what? 12 bits they have, they, that is given. Then the length of the instruction is 34 bits. This much we have understood clearly. Then the next part that is byte aligned fashion. What does it mean? Length of an instruction taken is 40 bits why we have taken it 40 bits as 34 is not divisible by it by align means what whatever quantity will take that should be divisible by 8 because one byte consists of 8 bits so our instruction length is 34 which is not divisible by 8 so as each instruction is byte aligned so nearest value 40 from 34 is divisible by 8 right because from 34 the next value possible which is divisible by 8 is nothing but 40. So because of that, we have taken 40 bits as the length of our one instruction. And 40 bits means how many bytes? 5 bytes. So each instruction is taking 5 bytes. How come it is coming 5 bytes? 40 divided by 8. And then amount of memory required. The last part, amount of memory. Amount of memory will be number of instruction in your program and the size of each instruction. Here given size of each instruction is same right that is 5 byte so 100 into 5 is your 500 bytes hope this one is clear so uh, in this video i'll discuss up to here and in next video again we'll come with some more numericals till then thank you and if you are liking my videos please share to my channel and like my videos thank you